Sean from the tour guide in Florence, Italy, and today I'm gonna show you the best markets in Florence as well as what you should buy when you go and what locals buy when they go. Ready. Woo! The best two food markets in Florence are undoubtedly Sant'Ambrogio and Mercato Centrale. Mercato Centrale is much more centrally located and easy to get to. Sant'Ambrogio is located about 15 minutes walk from Piazza della Signoria. It's a proper market, a real market, where you can find the real flavors and tastes of Florence, where locals are constantly shopping. I'm gonna see what happens if I ask the pepperoni. Ci avete pepperoni? Pepperoni portolani. Pepperoni in vetura, no? Salame pepperoni? Non esiste. Non esiste. Questo è pepperoni. So the common misconception is that pepperoni is a thing. I, I live in the States, I know it. Pepperoni goes on pizza, and pepperoni goes on like sandwich meats. It's not real. Pepperoni is a green, yellow, or red vegetable. If you ask for pepperoni in Italy, you are gonna get, people are gonna get mad at you. You know, not like a angry, angry way, but more like a, like a, no, die, type mad. Don't ask for pepperoni, it's called salami. Thanks. In terms of like fruits and vegetables, you're probably not gonna buy many vegetables when you're here just because, you know, maybe you don't have an apartment, maybe you don't have a stove, you're not gonna cook them, but the fruits are really good. I mean, those squash peaches back there are my favorite, okay? Also, like, you might wanna get some berries here. They're a lot cheaper than if you buy them at the grocery store in the States. You know, they call them frutti di bosco because it's like berries from the forest. So they have like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, delicious. The Italians really like these things right here. Cut these open and it's like full of like little, you know, it's just really good, you know what I mean? These are delicious as well. And that's pretty much it for fruits and vegetables. You can also get like uh, a lot of nuts here too, which is nice. You could also grab a bag of olives as well, which are delicious. But don't try to eat them like that. I don't think you'll like it. Olives are normally put into brine before eating. It's better to eat one of these fresh from the market. You're gonna love it. So the Italians make on the market, they're probably gonna buy some fruit and things like that too, but they're mostly interested in the vegetables, specifically mushrooms. Uh, the mushrooms here are amazing. The zucchini are delicious as well. In, in the Venice videos, we ate the fiori zucca, which is this part right here. You have to understand the Italians, not only do they cook with the zucchini, but they also cook with the flour of the zucchini too. So they'll batter this and fry it, and it's delicious afterwards. So you, obviously you want tomatoes, okay? Mostly the, most of the cooking of the different like uh, tomato-based pastas are gonna come with these tomatoes over here and there. A lot of eggplant used in Italian cooking too. You can see like the, they call it melanzane, the eggplant here. You know, a lot of times you'll slice that up and you put it under olive oil, you know, it's delicious. And that's like very popular as, a, uh, as an anti-pasta. Okay, or you can cook it and you can make dishes like pasta. It's really all surrounding the mushrooms. The mushrooms are a vegetable commonly used in pasta, especially in Florence, which in Florence you'll see a lot of like dark, brown, hearty dishes, and mushrooms is almost a staple ingredient, you can say. So in terms of, uh, of cheeses when you come here, I mean, I think for tourists as well as for locals, they're buying pretty much the same cheese consumed on a constant basis, and that's Parmigiano and Pecorino, which are these huge cheeses here. You know, you can eat it on the, like we're used to in the States eating that with the pasta. Here, Parmigiano is heavily consumed also outside of pasta, just as an anti-pasta, as you can see here. One of the cool things about Italy that I really like are all the different kinds of cheeses. At home in the States, there's just ricotta, but in Italy, you have so many types. Ricotta di capra, ricotta di mucca, ricotta di pecora, which describes the animal it comes from. So goat, cow, sheep are different milk producing animals and Italians will make ricotta and many different types of cheeses from these three animals, which all yield many different flavors. It's incredible. Inside Sant'Ambrogio Market, there is the most famous butcher in Florence and also one of the friendliest. Let's go check out the stall of Luca Manoni. In terms of meat, you're probably not gonna buy any raw meat here unless you're renting an apartment, okay? But the Florentines are using a lot of gamey meats, okay? And they're cooking a lot of heavy sauces, but the one thing that the most, we say, mati, they're like crazy for the, the stomach, which is called the tripa, you can see here. It's amazing. Firenze e Tripo sono collegati, diciamo. Altri piatti tipici dopo le tripa? I piatti tipici dei fiorentini sono gli arrosti, le grigliate, ma gli arrosti di maiale, 
questi arrosti qui che sono gli stupati, gli spezzatini, sì. il bollito, sì. i piatti di I bollito che, che carni usi? Il bollito prendiamo della carne dalla spalla, sì. prendiamo della carne dal fianco, prendiamo la lingua, prendiamo la zampa, mettiamo un pezzetto di pollo che deve essere visto sì. e, e anche la coda. Anche la coda, anche chiaro la coda, chiaro. chiaro. Viene fuori un bollito misto buonissimo con o verdure bollite oppure salsa verde, salsa piccante. Per fare un buon bollito ci vuole minimo un'ora e mezzo, minimo. meglio due ore, un'ora e mezzo. Bello, bello. E mangiate anche il cervello? Sì. Ma certo, eh? Ma allora, perché no? A Firenze il cervello e funghi fritti. Funghi fritti, mamma mia. È una cosa buonissima. Tutta la mia storia. Ah, mio nonno. Uh, grandfather? Grandfather, siamo nel 1930. Bello. La carne era fuori senza frigorifero. <laughs> Gli agnelli con la pelle, with skin. It was pretty early in the morning, but he wouldn't let me leave with an empty stomach. Sì, ti faccio assaggiare allora. L'arrosto di maiale, mm -hmm. la trippa alla fiorentina e il lesso rifatto. Dare su e fare una visita. Ma ci saliamo. Grazie. So this is like really how I like to experience the city. So we just went downstairs. We didn't have any appointments. We didn't talk to him in advance. We started talking to a guy who owns a meat store. He's like, I'll come upstairs and check out my restaurant. All of a sudden we're sitting in this little tiny amazing restaurant in San Ambrosia Market. I didn't even know it existed. Love the rest of the market. So like everyone down here is hustle and bustle. But obviously there's like four cool tables, cool lighting, cool everything. I'm sure we're about to eat amazing food. Another cool thing about Florence you gotta know is the bread. They make it without salt in it. It's delicious, but no salt. Saltless bread. I haven't had this in a long time. I don't remember how it tastes. I'm kind of nervous for it, but people go crazy for it here. This is a nice steak. Family cut just some olive oil and salt. Okay, this is like an onion and sausage dish, which is really delicious, very, very typical for locals. I'm probably going to start with a tripa and see how that tastes. It's good. It tastes almost like pasta al dente, you know what I mean? It's nice though. It just shows that he really the poor leaves every single part of the animal, and those became staple, staple classics, the food they eat. So this is like the bolita he was talking about, which has like everything inside of it. It's onions, meat all boiled and stewed down. It's delicious, like my favorite thing to once. It's really, it's a lot of flavor, really nice. Just simple ingredients, you know. I feel like in the States we often uh, over spice things. Just too much oregano and all those kind of spices. And here's just simple ingredients. The flavor of the vegetables, the meats, the salt, amazing. Really good. It's got like a really thick gamey flavor, you know? It's got like oil put on there, some salt, a little bit of pepper. It's really nice. In Philly, where I'm from, we would cut up a hoagie roll and just throw this stuff in a hoagie. A hoagie's like a sandwich. Ciao. 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 The second place not to miss is Mercato Centrale. Much larger, much more abundant options, but slightly more touristy because it's located close to the center. It's located 11 minutes walk from Piazza della Signoria and just like five or 10 minutes from the main train station, Santa Maria Novella. All right, right in front of the, the central market, we're gonna go inside. So we're here in the central market, or Mercato Centrale, and this is like one of my favorite places in Florence to go. I mean, it's two floors. It's almost like the bottom floor takes you back to the 1900s, like 1908. And when you go to the top floor, you feel like you're in 2026. It's completely different. So the bottom floor is like fruits, vegetables, meat, stuff that like locals can come and buy. If locals live around here, or like restaurants can come and buy, lots of vegetables for whatever they're preparing. And there's also like a few really good restaurants, the best one being Nerbone, which is like my favorite place to come in the market. I can't come to Florence and not come here. 
On the top level, it's it's more modern. You know, there's really cool places. You can get anything. You can get all kinds of Italian food, cheeses, meats, wine. There's like wine by the glass, bars, you know, a cafe to drink coffee. You can also get sushi here. There's cooking classes. It's a really cool place. So definitely check out the top the market as well. So that's it. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you love it, subscribe to all our content as soon as it comes out. Otherwise, questions, comment them below, and either myself or someone will answer them pretty soon. Otherwise, give it a day. Name Gatto Gentrale! I'm gonna show you how I do floors, which honestly, pretty much eating, drinking, and coffee. Mostly the eating and drinking part. Siamo pronti!